So what would you say are some of the key things that executives need to know to avoid the synergy trap? That's what the, the synergy solution is all about. It, it, for, for us, it starts with M&A strategy. You know, um, if you're just reacting to deals, then you're just playing this constant game of playing not to lose. It's just you're doing diligence and diligence and more diligence, and you're just playing this game of not to lose. Um, successful acquirers play to win. They have to make a lot of difficult choices, and that's the hardest thing for, for management. There's a universe of deals that you could do, and you know, the interesting thing about merger waves is, and we've seen this over four merger waves now, there are also waves of divestitures and spinoffs. So there's lots of assets uh, in the market, and you know, the first thing is don't be a reactor. Understand what are, the, what are your most important pathways for growth, what businesses have earned the right to grow through M&A, or what businesses might benefit but you can't do everything. You know, what businesses might benefit from additional capabilities, but um, that's the first step. And that involves a lot of choices. And the way we say it is, M&A strategy is putting in place an orchestrated process of making strategic choices. That's so you know what you want. And then once you've prioritized what businesses might be most appropriate for, for looking at deals, you want to understand the universe of deals that's out there. And that's where screening comes in, and that's where you have to make choices about what, what are the most important screens. But number one, it's, it's having a real identifiable M&A strategy. What are, what are the most important companies? Do I have a watch list of deals? And this is the question we ask executives. Uh, they'll, they'll say, how do I know if I have an M&A strategy? And I'll say, well, what are the 20 most important deals that you're pursuing over the next 12 to 18 months? If you don't know what those those assets or sets of assets are, you don't have an M&A strategy. And then you're, you've, you've trapped yourself into being a reactor. And the reactors, they got to compress time to do diligence. And then they'll, uh, if they do you know, diligence improperly or too short a period of time, they'll likely overpay. And, uh, and then they'll delay the integration planning. They won't have a successful announcement day. They'll delay integration planning that should kick off, if not the day after, a couple days after. And, um, you know, they'll assign teams nonsensical synergy targets. Employees won't understand their role and their future in the company. And then you get to post-close execution and uh, people are vibrating in place. So um, 